guys today I wanted to show you how to use uh, the Lime Crime Venus eyeshadow palette um, as you see on my eyelids I'm wearing all Venus colors and for my lips I did a like nice pink color that kind of matches with the eyelids so this is I think Lime Crime has three of these already um, the Venus palettes this is the first one um, I happen to love it. It's not that easy to figure out which colors to use and how to mix them together. There's some red and then brown and pink, so um, knowing how to put it together could be challenging. But I'll show you what I used for this look on my eyes right now. Um, and for the lips, like I wanted to kind of keep it in the same um, family of pinks. So it matches, it's not too much because the eyes are a lot already. And you don't want to go wild with the lips. You don't want to do like red lips with the, these eyes. But I love, love this palette. It's really good. The quality of the eyeshadows are great. And the colors are really nice. They're really deep. And, and they kind of make your eyes pop out. So keep watching. Um, I know I haven't done a video in a while. But I'm happy to start again. And we have a blizzard here in New York. So I'm kind of trapped at home. And I figured what else is there to do but to start my tutorials again. So I'm excited and I hope you guys like this. If you have any questions, please ask me. Please subscribe and keep watching. Thank you. Foundation, I used MAC Mineralize in NC30. I applied it all over. Um, and first I did put on a primer. I used um, Benefit Pore Professional. For eyebrows, I used this Anastasia New Pencil that um, came out recently, it's called the Brow Definer in medium brown and you see this, um, the tip of it is a little bit different from the old school pencils. I don't know if I love it or hate it, I have like mixed feelings about it. I think it's a really good pencil if you don't have a lot to work with. It helps you draw the line very quickly. But if you just have little parts of your eyebrow that you want to fill in, then I don't really recommend it. I think there's uh, better pencils. I think her other stuff, her original pencils are better. Okay, and for concealer, I also used MAC. This is um, somewhat new. This is the Match Master Concealer in 1.5. I happen to really like the Match Master Foundation, so I was excited to try this. Okay. So now let's do eyes. Um, I already put on primer. I'm wearing Urban Decay. That's what I always wear. I never change. That's my favorite primer for the eyes. For the entire lid, I'm going to use the color Divine. And I'm going to use a MAC shadow brush and just apply it all over the lid. This color is sort of like a, a matte mauve color. And it's a really nice color. You can actually incorporate it into different looks that you're putting together. And sometimes I actually just use this color alone. For the center of the eye, the center crease, I'm gonna take a small MAC blending brush and pick up the color Creation. And I'm gonna apply it all over the crease, but more so in the middle. Just make sure to really blend this color since this is a very deep, um, I'm going to say almost like a dark orange color. Maybe orange is not the right word, but it's a very deep color, so you want to make sure you blend it. For the outer corner crease, I'm going to pick up the color Muse with the blending brush again and create a V. So again, with this color, you want to make sure you really blend it. Do the same for the other eye with Muse. You want to make sure you kind of keep that 
V look for the outer corner and blend, blend, blend. So for the lower lash line using a flat eyeshadow brush, we're going to pick up the color Icon, which is a really nice shimmery brown color. And what we're going to do is starting with the outer corner, just drag the shadow all the way under the eye. So you want to create a line on the lower lash line. You don't want it to be a straight line. You kind of want to blend it in nicely. And then you're going to drag it out in an upward motion so it connects with the previous color muse it's now coming together and again the most important thing with these colors is to blend. So I'm gonna take another blending brush that I have and just blend everything together. Take a little brush like this um, and really you could pick up between shell or aura and you want to take a little bit and you want to put it right on the inside on the lower last line. You could even add it on top a little bit. This gives the eyes a little bit more um, openness. Okay, now for eyeliner. I'm a big liquid eyeliner person, so you choose whatever is easiest for you. Um, gel eyeliner, pencil, whatever works. I use this one by NYX for this tutorial. And what I'm going to do is instead of bringing it in all the way in, I'm going to stop about right here. So. I want to say three quarters of the way I will have it filled in. Let me make sure you can see. One eye I was able to do in like a second, the other eye took a couple of minutes longer and I don't know, I don't think they're so even, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to go over what I applied with mascara and I'm just using this Marc Jacobs mascara that's really nice. And what you should always do after applying um, your false eyelashes, since usually 
you apply them after you do all your makeup. Um, just go over and make sure your eyeliner is on even or you could put your eyeliner on afterwards. I, I used to do that. Because it depends on my mood. Sometimes I remember to do that, other times I don't. So let me see, I think it looks okay. For the inner eye, the um, waterline, I'm going to use Chanel. This is the um, intense eye pencil. This is my favorite. I used to only use this and then I would go back and forth with this and MAC, but this is my favorite. And what I'm actually going to do is only apply to about halfway in. But I'm going to make it so that it kind of bleeds into the lower um, outside part of the lash line. Okay. Next thing, which is probably the most important part of everything, is the contouring part. So I'm going to mix two different, I'm going to use um, powder and, oh my god, I really can't find anything, I'm so not prepared. I'm going to use both powder and cream. Um, contouring is big, like sometimes my face if I've gained weight, lost weight, whatever it is, certain days my face is poofier, other days it looks better. Um, today I feel like it looks horrendous. So this like contouring could really help bring definition. So this is by Tarte. Okay, it doesn't even say anything on it, but this is by Tarte. This is number two. Um, it's a cream. So I'm going to go kind of more in, I'm going to do the same on my nose. See that? Okay, and then Alright, so now let's try to blend this up. You can use um, a beauty blender to do, to do this. You could do this different ways. The key is to kind of blend more upwards, whatever it is you're using. I'm just going to use um, it's like a stipple brush, I think this is called. And it's okay if the line is still visible because remember I'm putting powder on over this. And it'll actually help me because it'll be a very um, nice clean line and that way I could see what I'm doing. The whole point of doing it down here is to give your jawline a little bit more definition. Um, and on my nose, I'm just going to do it with my fingers. This is a smaller area, so you kind of want to be as even. Okay. Alright, so now with the powder, um, I'm using this brush by um, Kevin Aquan. I picked this up in like a beauty store, but they actually now have it at Sephora. It's called the Contour Brush, and I'm going to use the Anastasia kit. Anastasia, I don't know. 
So now I'm going to go over that line. And again, don't worry because we're going to do more blending. So this harshness is going to go away. Um, and the one for the nose area, um, I want to be more careful. So I'm going to use, this is, this is by MAC number 286, but it doesn't matter. You could really use anything that looks like this. And kind of blend it in. Kevin Aquan, um, this is called um, Celestial Powder. It's in Starlight. I love it. Like, I absolutely love this. I happen to have this giant brush. Don't know the name of it. Don't remember where I bought it. But I love it. It's a very nice highlighting tool. And I'm going to kind of go right here above the cheekbone. You see what it does? Gives a glow. And for my nose, I'm sorry, I just had like a cold, so. Above the lip. Okay. I happen to love this highlighter. Okay, and now blush, and then we do lips and we're done. So for blush, I've been using, I actually, I always liked, um, these are by Urban Decay. I have a few different colors. This one is called Rapture. I really love it. For the winter, I like this color, but these are my favorite blushes, I think. So these are the 8-hour powder blush. I don't know what it is about them, but they have really nice um, texture. Okay, so this is the Large Angles F40 Contour Brush by Sigma. Pick a little bit up and apply it to the apples of my cheek. Right, and now we're going to do lips. For lips, I think... I'm going to do all MAC. Um, I'm going to use a lip liner called Half Red. You want to go above the lip line a little bit just to make your lips appear bigger. And for lipstick, also MAC, this color is called, well, spelled F-A-U-X, A35, FA, I guess, Fox, I don't know. Okay. nice to do. You have some lip gloss, which I did somewhere. Oh my god, I wanted to show you. I have a really cool lip gloss. Also Anastasia, but you know what? I don't have it with me, so I'm going to just use the Chanel that I have. This is, is 151. It's clear, but it has a little bit of shimmer. So just add 
get like an extra dimension. So this is the finished look. I put my hair down. Thank you for watching.